some fake watches back here. Hush, hush, right? These are illegal to own, right? No, <laughs> They're not illegal to own. Um, we actually took these in. So someone, most likely what happened is we have the night shift and it's only open at the window, so you walk up to it. Gotcha. And the guy at the time probably wasn't like... Um, educated enough to be able to tell whether or not the watch was really fake because they're actually not bad gotcha. fakes or they're yeah they're not bad fakes here we go we got a Milgoss Rolex and um, if if you look at the hand it's sweeping it's got an automatic movement in there right yeah so it looks pretty good it looks you know about how it should yeah it looks really good so and then you, you've seen a Milgoss before yeah, right of course and you see the green tint coming yeah. around there that uh -huh. looks pretty good right yeah to the trained untrained eye that looks really good the yeah. little bit of green right there yeah but to someone who knows what they're looking for this comes in two versions it comes in green or clear yeah and this is a sapphire crystal right here so it comes with a green sapphire crystal or a clear sapphire crystal gotcha it doesn't come with a little bit of green on the outside like that okay so yeah. If this was real, you would notice more green on there. It would be more green or it would be all clear. So, you know, another way to be able to tell would be you would uh, just hold it, you know, and wait. It's not quite exactly, it doesn't quite exactly weigh enough. But also, if you were to pop off the uh, band right here, mm -hmm. there would be a serial number right here. And the serial number will have um, basically decoded in that serial number, you'll be able to know what day and what month it was printed and everything and gotcha. what, or what, what when it was made so this is a pretty good fake um, it just it's got the sweeping hand but you know me looking at it if this came into me I would say uh, I don't know this is something that I'd have to pop it back off and gotcha. see because right off the top I would look at the crystal and I would know okay it doesn't look right but let's open it up yeah and you there's a tool where you pop it back off and uh, you can see if it was real or fake just by the movement. Do you guys do that here? Yeah, we do do it here. Gotcha. Um, I can actually take it, the jeweler and pop it off in a minute um, and show you the back. So. Gotcha. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, I used to work the night shift, actually. I never, took, I never opened Rolexes on my own at the night shift because mm -hmm. if it's real, you know, and you scratch this up, you're gonna, like, you, it loses value. Of course. So I never wanted to be you know, liable for that. I would always offer them less and they could come back in the morning and get more. Right. Here we go, we got a Panera, and um, it's also a very expensive watch. Very expensive watch, and you know, once again, to the, train, to the untrained eye, it looks pretty good, but here's the major giveaway. You see this right here? Mm -hmm. This little crown piece? Yeah. It should be one piece. Got you. And it, it's, it's a little rough, you know, it's got the right look to it, but it's a little rougher than it should be. Yeah. It should be a little more uh, polished, you know. So it should be one piece with, like, the rest of the watch? Yeah, it should be one piece with the rest of the watch. Oh. You, you know, you can kind of, like... Yeah, I see that. So that's really good. But the major giveaway is right here. Is you see the wheel spinning? Yeah. So that's how the watch is moving, right? Yeah. But this is a, chronic, this is a, chronic, a chronograph. So yeah. it has this over here. This should be moving. It's not. The wheels aren't moving in the back. The chronograph doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't work properly. Yeah. So, so this is a wind-up watch. you got to get a wind-up. Yeah, yeah. But the, the other wheels aren't moving. So gotcha. it's really, you know, it's, it's, it's a good fake from the front. But once you turn around and look at the back, you can just tell it's not what it should be. So with a lot of these fake pieces, do the people know that it's fake? Or do they get them from like eBay or something or from a different pawn shop and they don't know it's fake? Like what do you think? It's I hard think, to tell. I think it goes both ways. I think a yeah. lot of people know what they have. They know it's fake. Some people come in and they're genuinely surprised that the watch is fake. You know, they gotcha. have no idea. But your average person knows it's fake and they're just trying to come get a quick dollar. That's why most of the fake stuff is bought at night when the jewelry office is locked up and, all, and the majority of the tools to tell if it's real are locked up in the back. Makes sense. Here's another watch. This is actually a real Rolex. Okay. But this is not the original bezel or face that it comes with. Gotcha. This is a stainless steel Rolex Submariner, but they're trying to pass it off as the uh, white gold. Yeah. You know, because this face and this bezel only comes on a white gold. Gotcha. So if you were to bring this in and they didn't know about Rolexes, they're going to look this watch up and they're going to think it's, you know, much more valuable than it actually is. They're going right. to think it's white gold, you know. Yeah. Because you can test gold, but you don't want to test a Rolex, you know. Of if course. You don't want to scratch the, the gold on a Rolex. Of so course. This is a good real Rolex that was made to look like a different Rolex. That's so hilarious. that's just another little trick, you know. This is a trick right here to make, you know, uh, 
a ten thousand dollar Rolex look like a forty fifty thousand dollar Rolex. That's insane. Yeah, pretty wild. Is is the bezel real? The bezel's real. The face is real from another watch. That's crazy. from a different Rolex. So who knows what happens? Someone most likely iced out their bezel. You know, yeah. iced out the face, <laughs> changed their white gold up a little bit, and then a jeweler had this and put this together, sold it to someone, and you know who knows what the story is behind it. But this is definitely. A real Rolex made to look like a more expensive Rolex. That's so great. it's kind of Fugazi, but it's real. So that's wild. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Like how you can get into it, and you know you can make. It's pretty wild too. Like, I mean, when I was young, like they didn't make roll. They didn't go this good to make Rolexes. You know. Yeah. Now what they do is they'll take like an old Rolex. You know, an old Rolex. They'll gut it out. Yeah. You know, and they'll put a fake movement inside of it, and it's a real Rolex case. Wow. It's a fake movement, and you go in, you crack it off, you read the serial number. Unless you pop the back open, you would never know it's real, or you would never know it's fake. Why would people do that? Is that um, the same companies that like get their hands on the parts or something? Or no, it's just, just like you know, maybe the inside of the Rolex is shot. Maybe it's you know water damaged yeah. or it's broke. There's no repair, so they just you know people buy the scrap parts and put together Fugazi That's crazy. Rolexes and. You know, to the untrained eye, if you don't take that off, that back off, you'll never know. That's insane. So the sneaker game is so different, man. <laughs> because they're not obviously this is like, you know, like the authentic one is like a fifty thousand dollar piece, or this one might be like evaluated at like what ten, or the real Milgauss is what like seven thousand, six thousand. Yeah, yeah. Around that range. Yeah. Like sneakers are like two hundred bucks. You know oh I mean? yeah, but there's some that resell for you know a thousand. Of course they do, of yeah. course. But at the end of the day, it's like a manufactured in a factory, whereas this is like handcrafted in Switzerland, yeah. right? So it's like there's bound to be more imperfections in like a Yeezy or like a pair of sneakers than there it would be for this. Right? Yeah, but I feel like even Yeezys are like, it's almost like, Yeezys are getting down in price now, you yeah. know, for the newer ones. So it's almost like you can buy a pair of fake ones for like 200 or you can buy a pair of real ones for 300, <laughs> yeah, you know? Exactly. It's yeah. like, but I, it's hard for me to tell if the Yeezys are real or fake sometimes. Obviously yeah. you see some, the shape's off, you yeah. know, this is off, but I feel like some of them are pretty good. So season 15 wrapped up, you guys yeah. are working on the new stuff? Uh, we started filming, yeah, uh, we start filming any day now, Amazing. season 16's coming out. Awesome. Um, it's going to be crazy, hopefully there's going to be some more seasons, you know. Yep, of um, You know, uh, it's going to be tough, the old man's not with us anymore, he's a you know, fan favorite, well loved by many, Absolutely. you know, he's taught me a lot of lessons, but, you know, if we didn't keep doing this, he would be like, what are you guys doing? Get your ass to work. You know how he is. Get to work. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Um, just going to keep moving forward.